Good morning, Oklahoma Grown here. Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video about uh, soil. I just uh, transplanted some of my, uh, or most of my winter grow in from the solo cups into bigger containers. And I wanna talk about some of the things we need to think about whenever we're uh, transplanting and in our new soil. Okay, so there's several components to soil. Um, your core material would be like a, a peat moss or a, a coconut husk. Um, I personally use potting soil. Um, I use black gold potting soil from Ace Hardware. Um, it's a really good soil. It has a light nutrient and it's organic. So um, there, I know that there's no uh, extra pesticides or anything that's going to be leaching into uh, my herb. Okay, so secondary to that, whenever you're thinking about transplanting your uh, plants into bigger pots, you need to think about a couple of things. You need to think about the air that's able to get to the roots right? Because plants got to breathe not only from up top, their, their roots got to have a good air supply as well. But uh, it, and if you have your soil compacted down really far or really hard on uh, your roots, they're not going to be able to push through the soil. They're not going to be able to drain well, and you're not going to have a lot of air in the soil as well. So uh, what we do in that case is we add a vermiculite or perlite, um, both these things um, are heated at a uh, very high degrees and it releases the moisture within them whenever they're processed and it, it puts little bitty air holes and little bubble holes um, for moisture to seep into and it doesn't uh, they don't have any um, they're not completely inert they do have some magnesium dump on uh, perlite and stuff like that uh, but for the most part they're they're almost inert so you don't have to worry about uh, your nutrients uh, being messed up with them. So if you uh, get a potting soil with nutrients already in it, there you have one that is uh, uh, has a small amount of fertilizer within it, like mine does. Um, if you're ever going to put any newts on top of it, you need to be very careful because you can burn your plant very easily. Of course, anytime you uh, think that there's a possibility that you uh, over uh put put too much nutrients, or that you think that you may have a lockout of some kind, um, which is whenever your plant's not able to absorb the nutrients anymore because of one nutrient being uh, overly dominant, right? So you got to have everything in balance, and uh, so. Yeah, you know, if you're mixing up your own soil and you use a peat moss, peat moss blend, they don't pH it. So whenever you get a bag of soil, they already pH it to where you don't have to worry about it. Now, peat moss is naturally acidic, okay? So you'll have to put some lime or something else like that with it uh, uh, to uh, pH it right whenever you um, add in your vermiculite. So that's if you make your own soil, obviously, like I said, um, I use a pre-made a pre soil and I add vermiculite to it. I like a real airy soil, that way it drains really good. You don't have any worry about root rot because that's a big deal you know if, you, if your plant is not able to drain properly man uh, your roots will rot out you'll start getting mold and all other kinds of issues to where you really want uh, the moisture to, to uh, hold within the vermiculite and the vermiculite actually releases the moisture out of itself into the plant as the plant um, starts to uh, dry out you know and use the water that you've given it now you you want your roots always to have some moisture right so uh how, if you're one of the main problems people have whenever they're growing is they over water they water and water and water and water they like looking at their plants they like dealing with their plants so uh, whenever it comes to water you know they put quite too much on it so uh, the vermiculite lightens the soil allows the water to drain in and it holds plenty of the moisture to where um, you can go longer between waterings without having to worry about your plant dry out too much. Now, uh, you always want to check your plant's uh, soil whenever you water it. You're going to put your hand in it and see if you, you know, it's, it may be dry on top. But you, it may be sopping wet underneath if you don't have good drainage. So when we put together our pots, we try to make sure that we have uh, very good um, drainage. That means I, I drill holes in the bottom of any container um, that, that I transplant into so that water will flow freely out of the bottom of it. And, you know, I, I look at my plants quite often. So if, if one is, you know, using a little more water than the other, then, you know, I can certainly address that at those times. So, well, uh time for work and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, like, subscribe, and I'll try to get more videos to you soon. Later guys.